Howdy everyone, I went ahead and updated this tutorial like you all asked. It's working now as of August 2019. Let me know if you'd like any other tutorials and make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks. Let's get started with this Tekken installation video. Note, all links for sites accessed are in the description of the video and you will need a program capable of extracting zipped files to complete this tutorial. First, we need to navigate to the Technic Launcher download page, which will be in the description as mentioned previously. Go ahead and click Windows. Wait for that to complete downloading. Then go ahead and just left click that and open it up. Here we are. Now enter your Minecraft account credentials. Remember to click remember this account, log in. First, before we do anything else, we're going to go to Launcher Options, Java Settings, and we're going to allocate more than a gig of memory. I'm going to allocate 6, considering I have 16 gigs of memory, and Minecraft usually uses 3 to 4 for me, so I can go ahead and close that now. And now we're going to go to the Mod Packs tab and search Tekkit Classic. This is going to be the official Tekkit Classic pack. You can tell through the blue tag right here once you click on it. Go ahead and click install. Now while that's happening, we can go back to the Pure BD Craft download page. We're going to go ahead and scroll down to download, accept cookies, then we'll accept the terms of use. This will give us the downloads. We want to go to more, MC 1.2.5, and then pick your version. We're going with 128. Download, download with an ad. This is AdFly. Do not click anything in the center of the screen. What we want is in the top right. After five seconds, it'll let us move on. Okay, skip add, and now it's gonna download. Great, next. So this is the Svax Techit patch. I'm gonna go ahead and download the 128 version. Make sure you grab the corresponding version for performance reasons. If you, you know, downloaded the 32 base and then you go for the 128 Techit, your performance isn't gonna be as good as it would have been, so. I'm going to go ahead and grab this, 128. Now while that is downloading, we're going to go ahead and go to the Railcraft page and scroll down to where it says 4MC 1.2.5. Now the there is a Railcraft folder in the Tekkit patch that we just downloaded. It's wrong. We're going to replace it with this one. So you want to download version 5.3.2. Pick whichever version you need. If you're using 16, you should be able to use 64 because there's not that many textures in Railcraft. They probably won't slow down your system too much. So go ahead and just click on that. Then download from Mediafire, and you're good to go on there. Now, um, once that's all downloaded, we're going to go ahead and move to our downloads folder, and we're going to extract all of these. I'm using 7-zip, so I'm just going to go to 7-zip, extract files, 7-zip, extract files, 7-zip, extract files. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just delete those zips real quick so they don't clutter up our thing. So we're gonna we're gonna open up the base right here. We're gonna open it in a new window. We're gonna hit the Windows key and the right arrow key, and then we're gonna go back to the Downloads folder, and we're gonna open Sfax Tekka SMP. We're going to select everything in this folder, drag it over into the base folder, and replace files in the destination. Now, this is important. Go down to Railcraft, hold Shift, and click Delete. Go ahead and leave your base pack open. Go back over to this window, click Downloads, now go to the Railcraft Sfax add-on and drag this over. It might not look like it goes in, but that's because it pops into the bottom here. We can just click refresh. Okay, so we can close the left-hand window. Now we're going to go back to downloads. We're going to minimize Google Chrome real quick. And we're going to take this base pack and we're going to move it onto the desktop. Just keep it there for safekeeping because we're going to need it later. All right, we're going to go back to Google Chrome now. This is pretty important. Go to the sounds.rar link I left. It's a Google Drive link. Click download. Ignore the error that pops up, first of all. All right, this is about a 44 megabyte file, so it'll take a second to download. Extract it in your downloads folder. Extract files here. All right, now we have our sounds folder, so we can navigate back to our Technic launcher. We're going to click mod pack options, open. Then we're going to go to resources, and we're going to open our sounds folder. And we're going to drag everything in the sounds folder into the resources folder. Make sure you do it just like that or your sound files aren't going to work. Now that that step is complete, we're going to go to Tekkit Classic. 
We're going to click play and we're going to wait for Minecraft to load up. Now that that's happened, we can navigate to texture packs, open texture pack. Then we can go to desktop. We can click on the SFAX base pack. We can click control C to copy, and then we can just click the back arrow on our mouse. And if you don't have a back arrow on your mouse, just go ahead and click this arrow, then right click and click paste. So this is gonna paste your texture pack into your Minecraft files, and now it should be accessible on this screen. So go ahead and give that a click on the selection menu. All right, now instead of hitting done, we're gonna hit escape because it's faster and we're going to test out the sound. So sound works just fine. As you can see, we have our menu sounds. I'm gonna open a single player world. I'm gonna call that YouTube and I'm gonna show you that the real craft textures are currently working. Here we are in a jungle biome. So let's just go ahead and get outside of this. We have our sound, everything's working properly. We're gonna go into NEI. We're gonna type in track. Now we can see all the Railcraft tracks are working. I'm going to go ahead and just click a few random ones and lay them down so that you see they work in the world. All right, that's our Railcraft textures working. Okay, so this is important right here. While you're in game, hold F7, look down. That turns down the atmospheric volume. The atmospheric volume is very, very loud in Ticket, so just keep that in mind. Okay, that pretty much marks the end of tutorial. Make sure to leave a like if you liked the tutorial. Let me know if you guys want any more tutorials for other packs. And please subscribe and check out my other videos if you haven't already. Thanks. Have a nice day.